Hey guys, it is me, Hunter Gunslinger here, back with a brand new video. Today, in this video, we're going to show you guys how you get your override frequency kind of started and what are the steps to kind of get your override frequency to, you know, override at this point. And basically, these are some of the steps that are going to lead up to the sleeper supplement quest line that pretty much everybody is not quite done yet. But if somebody is done, let me know in the comment section down below. But everybody's kind of like dissecting the Warmind DLC pack at this point and grinding out to get a lot of gear. If you guys do like these type of videos, make sure you hit that sub box and the notification bell to get yourself updated on the latest news and how to videos so far in Destiny 2. So how to get these override frequency kind of override and how to find these sleeper nodes um, in this location. Now these sleeper nodes are pretty much scattered about throughout Destiny 2 at this point. Even when the people did the campaign mode throughout the campaign, you see these sleeper nodes pretty much scattered about throughout Mars. And a lot of people had questions, how do you activate these things? What do you need to do? And what is the override frequency? Well, step number one that you need to get these override frequencies kind of started. You got to get these Renestate stems to kind of use to, for your sleeper nods. These are what it looks like in your screen right here, right now. Basically, you have to at least collect at least four of these. Uh, last night, I had seven in my inventory, but you're allowed to use one at a time, so one per time. So what you gotta do is, once you get all four from these actually from these public events so how to get these uh these stems you have to complete the patrol missions you can get those lost sectors you can get those daily challenges public events uh meaning uh you can do a public event but it only grants you one but if you do a heroic one it grants you two so that's pretty interesting and if you do heroic strikes i remember last night i did a heroic strike and i got two of those too and take down powerful name enemies in the patrol space like you know high value targets and all that nice stuff you would get at least double these or one of these uh stems in your inventory so once you get those stem in your inventory it will tell you to combine so once you combine these together or all four of them together you will get the override frequency now the override frequency will go, go something look like this it's going to give you like a code it's like a little it's like a little rhythm that you have to figure out now the one that i got was drift and i'm thinking to myself okay it's drift what i supposed to like at this point, I'm like a sitting duck, like trying to figure out this stuff. I had one of the override frequency. It went off actually last night, and I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on, what what's going on. So basically, it's like a little music box. Basically, these uh, sleeper nods are like little. It's like little. It's like basically like little like music bosses that you will come across and they will have like chinese music kind of going off and you're like okay what the heck is going on you're killing enemies at this point these chinese music is going off so you're thinking like you're killing so much enemies at this time or something you know this music going off but not actually it's the override frequency that you combine together with your stem to give you this and they give you like a little rhythm and you have to go in this area and find one of those sleeper knots but the good thing about it is it will go off and that means you're close to a sleeper knot now in most cases if you come across a sleeper knot and it says incorrect it's going to tell you incorrect sleeper knot that means that it's not the correct one but i kind of noticed when i have the override frequency in my inventory the music kind of goes off automatically meaning that you're near a sleep or not so that's a good thing to kind of help you out at this point because they're scattered about everywhere and kind of remembering where they're at throughout the campaign mode could be a little bit difficult because they're hidden in such tight little corners and it can be difficult to find so basically it would give you like a little rhythm and you have to figure out what it's telling you like mine told me drift so i had to go to the glacier drift to basically get the sleeper nod and you would collect loot now the loot is not precious loot because the precious loot that you want like the armor set for your warlock and hunter and, and titan is basically on isolation protocol and you have to complete isolation protocol to complete the step for the sleeper assignment so this is step number one you might as well say because i collect yeah i collect this first before i did the hand cannon quest line or i did a hand cannon quest line then this anyway step number one let's just put it that way this is step number one or step number two let's put it that way it's basically getting the stem in your inventory now like i said you can do public events you can do patrols 
and you can do uh, daily challenges, public events, meaning heroic events will double it. You can do public events that will give you one, but if you want double the price, I would do heroic. Heroic Shrikes, grant me two. That was another one too. And take down power for enemies will definitely help you out in the long run. So those steps are pretty easy. It's pretty simple at this point. Um, finding them, uh, somebody said there's like four in total on Mars. I don't know how true that is, but they said there's like four in total. Um, the sleeper doll, like I said, the sleeper doll will wake you with a special animation. The special animation, as you can see on your screen, this is like an, a prime example of the sleeper doll. It will give you like a special animation, meaning like it's giving you like a rainy, grainy type of animation. And then some strange music will come on. To me, it sounds like Chinese music. I don't know. Some people say strange music. But strange music will go off. And then you go up to it, you're thinking like something's going to happen, but nothing didn't happen near you. You're thinking when you collect the loot, there's going to be like a big boss fight, but not really. You just collect the loot and boom, you find the sleeper dot. So that's how simple and easy that is. If you guys have any questions or any concerns related to this, you let me know in the comment section down below and I'll answer them as much as I can. There is multiple steps you have to do to kind of get your sleeper supplement quest line kind of completed. There's going to be a lot more later on the day so make sure that you stay tuned for that if you guys felt this video was very very important and you felt this video was expository how to do the sleeper not and how to collect them let me know in the comment section down below if i didn't explain it properly i'm sorry but like i said everybody's trying to figure out how to do most of these activities and how to get these certain things everybody's trying to get through it and get these activities now isolation protocol i don't know how everybody's going to complete those but there's people who completed it so shout out to them but um so far, everybody's just trying how to complete these quest lines and how you get this and how you get that. If there's more quest lines in the future, we just have to wait and see. Then I think that's pretty much it. I think that's how I explained everything. But if I miss anything, let me know in the comment section down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one.